What up guys, welcome back, Digital Slang. Back again today, Wish.com, we're trying it again. A Series 5 clone of the Apple Watch. Let's check this thing out. You guys saw how I received the package, the unboxing. That's exactly how the package came to me. Really bad, as soon as I saw it, I knew I took an L here with this. I paid 22 bucks for this and $10 to ship it here. So 32 overall. But let's just take a look at it. The white band, the white band is not removable. You cannot remove the band from the watch. And it feels cheap, it's just terrible. It's like a pleather feeling, but even worse. I don't know how you can get worse than pleather, but they did it here. So impressive if that's what they were going for because they nailed it. The crown on the side here, it does turn, although it doesn't do anything when it turns. And on the side here, the port to charge. So right there, you already know there's a problem. And if we push the crown in, it's basically your enter button. It'll bring you back to wherever you were before. And you can see here 40 millimeters in size and 1.5 inch display. And it is a touch screen. It's, the touch screen does work. However, it doesn't work well. It, it lags all the time. It freezes on me. I have to keep restarting it. A couple times I had to let the battery run down because it just froze and I couldn't do anything with it. So right there, right off the bat, we know it's not even worth the 22 bucks that I spent on it. But we'll just take a look at it just because, well, I lost some money and I want to check it out. So if you swipe down from the top, you get this. This is your Bluetooth connection and your volume. And you have to go back out, you hit that button. And if you swipe down again, if you swipe down again, it brings up your apps. And if you swipe to the right, if you swipe to the left, or if you swipe up, it'll all bring up your apps. And if you hold down here, and then new watch interfaces will come up, and you could pick something else, and, and that works pretty well, and that's about as well as this thing works. It doesn't work pretty much any better than that. Now, the one thing on here I was shocked about, the heart rate monitor, although it's not 100% accurate, it is very close. I did test it next to a pulse ox. I have this here, and this will measure the oxygen that you have in your body, and it also measures and takes your pulse. And when I did it and compared it next to the watch, it, it was very close, right? It was only a couple numbers off. And I was actually surprised by that. But if we go back into the apps, and again, look, it's already freezing and lagging on me. So if we go back in here. Now, I did connect it, and you would connect this through Bluetooth settings. You go into settings on iOS or Android, and it comes up as Watch 5. So we are connected. But if you go into text, if you can get into there, it says currently not supported. So you can't even send a text message so what is the purpose of a smartwatch if I can't even send a text message? And you can turn your Bluetooth on and off. There is a calendar on here. You can go in and you can click on it, but it's just going to give you the day of the week. It's not going to allow you to do anything to set reminders. It doesn't allow you to do anything else. And to get out of here again, you have to click on the crown and it brings you back to the main interface. And then I have to swipe up again to go back into the apps. And it's really annoying, I gotta be honest with you. You can control your music from your phone if you wanted to. Now, it doesn't play through the watch, which is a bummer. It only plays through your phone. And if you hit play, it'll just start playing music on your phone. If you can get it to. And you can raise the volume. You can lower the volume. You can skip to the track, the next track, the previous track. And then you play and pause. So those do work. You can also go into settings. You have your Bluetooth settings, your clock, new notifications, your volume, your display. If you click on display, it gives you the ability to change your brightness, your screen timeout, things like that. All right, guys, look, this thing doesn't do anything well. It freezes, it lags, and when it freezes, sometimes it doesn't even come back on. Like I said before, I've had to let it drain before till it was out of power so I can turn it back on. That's how bad this thing is. And again, some of the cool things that it does do, right? Like the heart rate sensor. It was close, but again, not 100% accurate. And if you're looking for something that has a heart rate sensor, you want it to be accurate. So even though it does that pretty well, it's not good enough for something like that. And because it freezes and lags all the time, all the other apps on here, you can't even send a text message. We are connected to Bluetooth and you still can't do it. Now there is an app to download, but I'm not even gonna try the app because I don't want that on my phone for something like this. This thing is cheap. It's basically a toy, right? For somebody looking for a smartwatch, this is not going to cut it. They're gonna be highly disappointed if you buy this thinking you're going to get a decent smartwatch. 
This is meant for a child. It's a toy, right? If you have a kid that just wants to be like mommy and daddy or just wants to be like big brother or big sister, this is perfect for them. It's a toy. They can throw it around. They can tr do whatever they want with it. And who cares, right? It's a $20 plastic piece of trash that they could just beat up on but still feel like, you know, I got the same watch as mommy and daddy or big brother and big sister and be happy. It's just a, it's a toy. It is what it is. Sometimes you take an L on Wish.com, but that's what we get, right? I'm trying to find that gem on Wish because I know they exist. I'm just hoping we can get lucky one day. You know, the $70 Apple Watch clone that I tried months ago, that thing was really good. Compared to this, that thing was a diamond. But this thing, not so much, and you could tell right away just from the packaging and from the charging port on the side, you knew right away it wasn't going to be good quality. But it is what it is. That's why we do what we do here at Digital Slang. We're looking for that gem. We're looking for that good deal. Unfortunately, today is not the day. Unless you want to buy a toy for a kid, here you go. But I'm not going to drop the link. But if you see an Apple Watch Series 5 on Wish.com for 20 bucks, do not buy it unless you are trying to buy a toy for somebody. But that's it. Hope you guys stay safe. Crazy times out there. We'll be back soon with more videos. Peace.